All right, guys, thanks for watching I'm here with Juan, who, if you don't know, Juan is was the number one IUL producer with FFL last year. Um, and you wrote like 1.3 million of, of premium last year, IUL business. And he's uh, someone who helps out everyone on the team a lot, but just very good overall producer. So Juan's going to go through um, a presentation, like how he does with his clients, as if I'm the client, and show you guys how simple it is to you know, build the illustrations and how simple the presentation could be. So Juan, I'll let you take it away, but thanks for being here this, today and helping everyone out. Sure. So guys, if, when, once you go, this is with that National Life Group, uh, the company, so you can do it with any other group, but this is through National Life Group right here. We're going to click on the illustration first, and then I'm going to basically pick the state, which uh, we're, we're assuming Zach in, in Texas, so we're going to uh, leave it there, but you can choose whichever state you want. Uh, and then you just click the first one, which is Flex Live. And mm -hmm. then after that, I'm going to ask a few questions. So, Zach, your last name is Zachary. Yep. Uh, Radoski. <laughs> T, T. Perfect. Yep. T A W T W A R P. W A R D O W D O W S K I S K I. All righty. And mail, we blew it like yep. that mail. And then the, your date of birth? Uh, April 4, 16, 1995. 1995. And that would pull out basically that you're. 28, you're going to be 29 in April. So that puts you right there. Uh, mm -hmm. We always do a standard because the company is going to uh, probably choose, uh, you know, Zach as the elite but or prefer, but then we just leave it always like that. We always show us a standard. Uh, yeah. Then we're going to go click on death benefit and funding. And we always want to uh, pretty much design it the way that that that, that we do it is fine uh, for as far as like building a cash value for retirement we're always mm -hmm. gonna this this option number one the other options are more for more uh, life insurance into it and that's the option number one so just so cool. you know and uh so we're gonna click on that one and Zach, as far as like, since you're young, typically the level is more for, for people that are going to want to start with a bigger policy from the beginning. In your case, mm -hmm. you want to build up the most cash value and the least amount of life insurance. So we're going to hit on increasing and okay. we're gonna basically go, let's see that you're going to be funding it until age 65. So we're going to also do it for that period of time, we're going to specify the amount. We're going to go to monthly, which is mm -hmm. what most people fund it for. And we're going to go A through A65, which is basically where how much we're going to fund it. My question to Zach will be, how much are you, are you going to be funding this through like monthly, like minimum and maximum amount of money for per month? Um, how, how much do you rec recommend I should do one? Uh, how much money are you making right now per, per, per month or per year? Uh, let's say, uh, 200,000 per year, let's say. 200,000. So I would recommend anywhere from, uh, five minimum to 10% of your income. So we will say okay. basically if you're making, uh, $15,000 per month, I will say about anywhere from. 750 to 1500. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's let's look at it at a thousand then. Does that okay. sound good? That yeah. sounds good. So a thousand dollars. And we're gonna basically uh hit this and we're gonna since we already got it all designed here, we're gonna do a quick view and mm -hmm. show basically the beautiful uh IUL that we created. So First thing is Zach is going to have $331,000 minimum death benefit. That's the initial one that we'll initiate. It's a, mm -hmm. a 
permanent policy so it will not lapse as long as we keep funding it properly. And then we have a non mic That means uh, no taxes when people take it out of the funds. And then you have a premium of 1000 You can put, Zach can put as much as $12,000 every year inside without making the, the, which is the modifying domain contract. So cost of life insurance for Zach is going to be somewhere around, I will say, we'll call it like $90 per month. Mm. Uh, so that about 9% of the money is going to go because he's young. That's pretty good. So you're, you're basically out of that 1000, you're funding a lot of that on the growth. So that means 12,000 goes in right here and a lot of money goes in the cash value. Uh, so you're funding it right here. And 10 years later, when you're 38, you're going to basically looking at 144,000 cash value. Mm -hmm. So my question to you, Zach, if you have left that money in the bank, do you think the bank will have given you that much interest? Like over $24,000 in interest? No. 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 And then, so the other thing is, if you something happens to you, and uh, the banks only give the family whatever they have in the savings, nothing else extra. On this one, something happens to you at any time, your family will get basically a 331000 which is the, the initial debt benefit plus whatever you have in the cash value. So if it happens on, on year 10, they'll get both as 476000 and it's all mm -hmm. tax-free. So that's a very good thing. And then so... Uh, the other part is once 10 years pass by, if you keep funding it this way, five years later, it's going to look amazing. It's going to look like 261,000. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 20 years, you know, five more years, 421. And by the time you retire, you will have about $1.6 million. So you could retire easily with about $130,000, $140,000 every year tax-free out of this retirement. So you think that something that you can live with? Yeah, it would definitely, it would definitely help. Do I have to keep, so I don't have to pay on it when I retire one? Nope. And then that's the other good thing is here. If you look at this, uh, this is, uh, you don't have to continue paying. In fact, if you, if you stop paying, earlier it will stop basically it will continue to grow your money it probably will not be like this but it will continue to grow because after you've max fund your policy for 10 years it should continue to grow by itself you know Got so it. that's the the good thing about these policies and it's a permanent policy so it covers you for the rest of your life so if you look at when by the age of 90 you you can have about an eight million dollars so that's a transfer of wealth that you can do for your family. Uh, other people do it to take loans or anything mm -hmm. or a great retirement. Uh, if I take one, if I take loans, uh, do I have, when do I have to pay those loans back? So, fast? so the way the way that <clears throat> this is is because you become your own bank, and that, that what that means is 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 you decide how to pay the loans back. So that means mm -hmm. you're going to still make the interest on your cash value. So whatever the interest is on that, that year, if it's 6% or 7% or 5%, you still make that interest on the cash value. And the loans are coming from the credit line, which is the surrender value. And National Life Group is going to lend it to you less than 5% typically. So that's... Typically, you're going to either go a wash where you don't pay any interest or you basically make a little bit of the money. So it's kind of like, hey, if you go to Wells Fargo, they're going to lend you money, but they're going to charge you the money. But here, yeah. you get loans without having to pay any interest. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you can repay the loan whenever you want to. Like You can repay it as fast or as low as you want to. Uh, 
The other thing that I, I will say is that I like to explain the way the IEO works is like a seed. Uh, when you basically plant a seed for, for a tree, you basically plant it and it, you water it, which is your money, that $1,000 per month. The first year is going to be a small plant. Uh, the second year is going to be a little bit bigger. And the fifth year is going to be like a tree with mm -hmm. a little bit of fruits. Ten year is going to be a big tree with a lot of fruits that you can feed in people. And then after that, it's going to be several trees. So it multiplies, it compounds over the years. Any questions? That makes sense. No, not not on this so far. So I get I get interest based on how the market does. Right. On average, uh, on average, basically historical average shows that people are making six to ten percent interest okay. on the cash value money. So this cash value is always going to be from uh, making that those interest, and this is shown at a uh a, you know 6.42 so right now we're illustrating at 6.42 at the age of 29 putting a thousand dollars per month got it that makes sense so, that's cool anything else that any any questions that you have on these or uh as you can see this is all about you when you're alive not when mm -hmm. you basically because when you die, everything is going to go to your family, basically all tax free. So yeah. do you have anything like this on your portfolio right now, Zach? No, no, I don't have anything. Would you like to have something like this on your portfolio? Yes. Yeah. So the next thing we do is send out an application on your behalf to National Life Group. Is it okay we send it out for the $1,000, a little bit less or a little bit more? 1000 is fine. Okay. Hey, Juan, do you show people the reports ever still or no? Not, not anymore. I used to. Cool. And then so I leave now the report as a second close. Cool. So if I'm like, hey, Juan, I'm, I want to, maybe I want to think about this. I'm not totally sure if I want to do this or not. Yeah, sure. Everybody needs to think about this. And this is something that, that and what I like to show you also is. Uh, so, is so if I say no initially, or if I say I'm not sure, then you go, well, hey, let me show you one more thing. So you have some more information before we go. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, that will be one of the things that I that I, I will do. And then that way I show them and I show them all the how they benefit from all the critical illness and chronic illness. And then I'll say, just remember, we're not making a decision today. All we're doing is sending an application to see if you get approved. Now, once mm -hmm. you get approved, then you have a, a big decision to keep, which is basically, do you want to keep the IUL like it is right now? Or do you want to increase it or, or do whatever you like? Got it. Which which part of the of this do you show clients if they if you need to give them one like to help close them if they're not sure? So I, I show them the that if they die too soon, if they live very long and they become ill. So if they become a uh, with a thousand dollars with a thousand <laughs> sorry, thousand dollars <laughs> a month, if you die too soon, 332000 goes to the beneficiaries. But if you live very long, you have a lot of money that mm. you can get through. And the other part is if you get ill. If you have an illness, here it shows at the age of 65 what it could happen. You know, sometimes long-term disability can be one of the hardest things for a family to, to do. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people are looking for long-term disability. What, what can I do? Well, these policies cover that. If something happens mm -hmm. like a chronic illness, that's a long-term disability, then you're basically, after 90 days of disability, you can apply for this and you can get a monthly income to help you replace what you lost. In this case, at age 65 is 30,000. Maybe it will be less at the age of you know, 40 or 50, but it will cover you for a lot of money. Okay. Wow. So this is, a, and then a, if you have a critical, like a heart attack, a stroke, a current cancer, something like that, 
or a terminal illness or an accident and, and you were paralyzed or blinded or anything like that, you couldn't continue to work, this is something that can cover you or an Alzheimer's disease, even that will cover it. So as you can see, this is a complete about you when you're alive, not just when you die. When you hey, die- how much, how much extra does the illness thing cost? Nothing. It, it's a, it's oh. part of the it's part of the policy. So if if something happens to you uh, during your lifetime, uh, while you're having this policy in place, it covers you for sicknesses like this, uh, accidents like critical, and anything that that basically any type of death, where is you know any type of death. Because very complete. As I say, it's all when you're alive. So if we send it out, is it okay? We send it out for a thousand dollars, a little bit less or a little bit more. Yeah, thousand sounds good to me. Perfect. And I just click on ego and then we'll go to the application. Hey Juan, one thing I've seen, um, and then we can wrap up real quick, but one thing I've seen is a lot of new agents, whether it's selling this or term insurance or final expense insurance or just getting the initial phone call is um, people will say like, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I want this or I'm not interested or they give the initial objection and a lot of agents um, give up right away, right? They go, oh, okay, sounds good. Or like they, they get to someone like this and I go, man, I'm not sure if I want to do this and they just give up. What is, what is your advice for how much you push until you decide whether or not to walk away from the sale? Because the first objection you have to push through. So what is your advice to new agents who, you know, just fold up when they hear one, one no, and they don't, they don't keep pushing forward at all. Yeah. Typically the no, uh, when people hear a no is basically they don't have enough information from you. And typically that's, uh, they're, they're basically just have to make a new decision mm. uh, because if you don't give them anything new, then they're going to be like, you know, you're, you're just trying to change their mind. And then so if you give them just a little new information, like, hey, you know, all we're doing right now is sending an application on your behalf. We're not making a decision today. That's a new information that they didn't know. Now they can make a new decision. So just give them a little bit of new information, even if you don't show them anything. And then they'll, you can, you can try basically three, four or five times with new information without having any pressure on the customer. All they're mm -hmm. gonna do is just give them say, now let me show you something new. Like I, I, I can show Zach uh, how he can get lifetime income. So he said, oh, by the way, another, another thing I forgot to show you, you can actually get a lifetime income out of, out of this policy. So if I show you right here, Zach, you basically have funded the policy a thousand dollars until age 65. But then when you retire, you can get 132,000, for the rest of your life tax-free. Mm. Now, Zach, as I mentioned, this is something that we're only, all we're doing is basically sending out the application to see if you get approved. Now, once you get approved, we have to make the decision where we're going to keep it the same level uh, at a higher lower and you just let me know now if we send it out is it okay we send it out for a thousand a little bit less or a little bit more a thousand is good i like that because you just have you just have more things to keep going back to right right um if, gonna, last... if, you close, if you close on the same thing they're not gonna they're not gonna make any decision because they already decided but new decisions always made what do you do? So say you always tell people like, hey, you don't have to 100% decide today because um, we're doing the application, but you know, you're going to have to make a, a decision, a final decision when it comes back. When, what do you do if you have someone like that to make sure that when I do get approved that I want to continue with the policy and I won't cancel it? What does that conversation sound like? Yeah, I, I typically just uh, say, you know, when we, when we spoke, uh, Zach, you were very concerned about your retirement, remember? Mm -hmm. and, and uh and I show you kind of how you could retire with 132,000, which you told me that that sounded pretty good. And a thousand dollars for my what is something that you feel that 
is not meeting up your needs on this because we can flex it if you if you need to lower your your monthly we can do it so what will be something that you feel that is not working for you no the price is okay i'm good with it okay yeah so a thousand is okay so yeah and then uh you feel like one hundred thirty-two thousand dollars that you over time that you grow is that pretty good retirement? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So main thing is uh, if if at any time you wanna change your policy, just remember to call me. I'm gonna be like your doctor for the finances. So if your pocket hurts, I need you to call me. If your pocket goes inflated, I need you to call me because we have places to put your money to. All right. Awesome. Cool, man. Hey, Juan, thank you so much. That was super helpful. Um, like you said, when you call, I think it's important when you call back with them just to make sure that they're totally good with the premium before it drafts, right? Because you don't want someone to have their account drafted for $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000 and then you didn't talk to them and then they're mad. So it's right. super important with final expense, but it's even more important with IUL business that you're, you know, you're doing a really good job of clarifying and making sure that they're that they understand the product they like it they're comfortable with it and that it's going to draft and and they're not surprised by a big payment coming out right 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 that happens all the time <laughs> awesome well hey thank you so much for your time everyone thanks for being here and uh one i appreciate everything you do for the team man i really do bye-bye